Hello and welcome to OneFly JC. In this video, I'm going to cover two of the DJI Hyperlapse Circle and Course Lock. I'm going to walk you through how I set up and fly these two hyperlapses. I will start with Course Lock and then set up and fly Circle. After my pre flight check, the next thing I'll do is put on an ND filter suitable for the day. Today, I'm using ND. 32. I strive to use the lowest ISO value possible and then set up my shutter speed to match my frame rate. 1 over 50 as I usually record in 4K 25. But this 1 over 50 I don't believe really matters in this case because we are shooting photos single shots instead of a video. Now that I have the basic settings, let's get this bad boy in the air. Switch to sport mode and up we go. As you can see, the sky is blown out as indicated by the zebra line. So I'm going to increase the height pretty close to where I'm going to shoot at. When I'm doing something like this, I usually try and get high up above the trees because I do not want to end up in the tree as I've done in the past. Another reason for being much higher than the trees, you're not going to get the movement of the trees branches in the hyperlapse everything will look nice and smooth if you're higher up what i like to do in the case of course lock i like to fly away from me and away from the direction the drone will be traveling so that drone will come past by me and end up not too far away from me once i get to my start point i will scout the area by yawing the drone through 200 360 degrees and make sure there are no obstacles. After that, I will line up my shot and make sure I have plenty of movements in the shot. The hyperlapse of our movements is not worth watching. All right, folks, let's speed up portions of this video so we are not here all day and all night. get some movement in the shot. Now that I have my shot lined up and in focus, let's tap on a little clock right above the red circle. Hyperlapse is shown in yellow and in the left column, free is shown in yellow also. We don't want free, so we're gonna click on course lock. Tapping on the drop down arrow head next to course lock at the center of your screen, a new menu will appear. Here you can choose the time interval between each shot and also set up the length of your hyperlapse. You can also set the speed of the drone while performing this hyperlapse. Caution, do not set a high speed because the drone could end up a long way away from you. I'm going to set this up for the drone to travel at one meter per second. Notice that after each choice, I clicked on the little check mark to the right of that shaded box to lock those values in. All right, folks, we're almost there. Once that is done, all you have to do now is click on the little lock to lock it. Above those values you have just chosen, you will notice that the duration of this uh, hyperlapse will be 12 minutes and 30 seconds. That's how long it would take to perform the hyperlapse. This camera is going to shoot 250 photos in 4K RAW. Make sure you have sufficient storage on your SD card to, accom to accommodate these photos. At this point, you can click the red button, sit back and relax and keep your eye on your bird. For the owner of the DJI RC controller who wish to screen record, hold down twice on the screen from top to bottom and a new page will appear and on that you will see the choice to tap on and turn to tap and turn on your screen recorder. Be advised that this does not record audio without an external mic. In life there are always glitches. If you notice the 
arrowhead that represents the drone on the map have stopped moving, but the process continues. At the end of shooting, the app will automatically stitch the photos together to generate the hyperlapse. Let's jump to the end and check out the finished product. Circle hyperlapse is carried out in pretty much the same way, except this time we will choose circle. In this mode, the drone will travel in a circular path and will not be protected because there are no side sensors. So please be very careful when employing this mode. Draw a box around the subject, choose your interval, the length, the speed, and your direction. Hit the button and the drone will do the rest. Here are the finished products straight out of the camera. Thanks for watching. If any of this was of value to you, please subscribe, like, and share with a friend.